Earth's atmosphere as a giant swimming pool. Make a splash in one corner, and you'll eventually notice the ripples on the other end. That's how meteorologists look at global weather patterns. The more data that we can gather, the farther we can gather it upstream, the more accurate the computer models are going to be in forecasting severe weather. It's what brings the NOAA hurricane hunters to Alaska, quite a ways from home. We're in the middle of nowhere. In much quieter weather than they're used to. A lot calmer. <laughs> this is the same Florida-based team that flies through hurricanes in the summer, taking precise measurements to forecast a storm's path. Not much of that going on this time of year, so they run missions like this one called Winter Storm Reconnaissance. Our roughly seven hour flight takes us on a loop over the Pacific. We'll get as far south as San Francisco, about the halfway point between Anchorage and Hawaii. We're circling a storm that's swirling over hundreds of miles. It's forecast in about three days to begin to generate into a major winter storm that's going to affect the Midwest. We released them from about 45,000 feet. The goal of this mission is to drop several weather sensors, which parachute to the ocean's surface, sampling the air as they drop. 16 minutes and it's in the water and it's done. Eject the instruments from a tube in the rear of the jet. Within seconds, the sensors beam back humidity, temperature, and wind speed readings. 250 millibars is right at about minus 40. The North Pacific is essentially a weather data dead zone for much of the year. There are no islands, there's no weather stations, there's really no source of uh, weather data. NOAA says it's imperative that it learn more about what's going on in this part of the world, especially considering storms that form here can cause serious damage down south. Take, for example, those deadly tornadoes which swept the country last week, leaving at least 39 dead. They say this mission was a success, and it's a pretty smooth trip back to Anchorage. But these forecasters know that won't last long because another wave of weather is heading our way. Leave it across 3-3 and proceed on the West Taxi Group. Ted Land, Channel 2 News.